Hello and welcome back to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and use the new Thunder Hack client. So first thing you want to do is going to go to the description of this video and join the Discord server that's linked. In the Discord server, you're going to find as always a channel called Thunder Hack. In that channel, you're going to see a file to download. You're going to download it. Once it downloaded, you're going to wait a second. And once it downloaded, you're going to press keep. And as soon as it's fully downloaded, you're just going to drag it right onto your desktop. Okay, it's just loading a little bit, so we gotta wait a second. Okay, now where it's downloaded, we're just going to drag it right onto your desktop. Once on a desktop, you're going to open your launcher. I'm using Feather, for example. This client is compatible with the version 1.24 till 1.21. So you're going to drag it right into your feather. Once in your feather, you're going to select the thunder hack, like this little picture. You're going to start up your launcher. While we're starting a launcher, I'm going to show you some stuff about your Discord server. So first of all, we also have clients like Sakura client, the Groot client, Xenon client, Krypton and Crispy. All that videos are also on this channel, so make sure to watch them. We also offer custom clients where you can get your own custom client. Make sure to also check that out. And let's get Thunder Egg. Okay, right here, we're gonna join PvP up, for example. And we're gonna, R we're gonna RTP real quick. This client's a little bit different. It doesn't open with right shift, it opens with P. So you wanna press P and you're gonna see this. As you already see, we basically have everything we need from Anti Legit Miss, Auto Anchor, Auto Crystal. Every base hunting option, everything is possible. We have a lot of stuff to change from even tape mouse and stash logger. We can change basically basically everything. So it also has a nice GUI with some swift animation right when we close it. It has like some swift animation too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's see you in the next one.